This video will go through the graphs of other trig functions, and just to clarify, other trig functions includes tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Let's start with tangent. As you can see already, the graph looks a little bit differently than sine and cosine. And keep in mind that I use GeoGebra to plot these, and GeoGebra works exclusively in radians. So everything on the x-axis here is in radians. And we'll kind of talk about it. We'll convert to degrees and do all that. Um, let's talk about tangent initially. If we relate it back to the unit circle, if we think about sine and cosine, if we were given a coordinate, y was equal to sine of theta, theta being this angle right here, and x was equal to the cosine of theta. And if we think about tangent of theta, that would be the same as the opposite over the hypotenuse, in this case, y over x. So one could say tangent of theta is going to be equal to sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. And that's where we get these vertical asymptotes from. If we look at this line and this line, at each of these lines, that's when cosine of theta equals zero. So if we think about when that happens, when this x-coordinate on the unit circle is zero, it happens at 90 degrees, and 270 degrees. So that explains this one right here and then another one right here at 270. And if we look at this, this would be negative 90 degrees, which would also make sense because negative 90 and 270 are coterminal angles. They're the same kind of angle. So if we think about tangent, its period is 180 degrees. And it would just be the span between these two, or these two. Then it starts to repeat itself. You'll notice this green curve here. It starts there, then it repeats itself. Starts at negative infinity, goes off to positive infinity. And between each of these, we have a break, a vertical asymptote, as we can see on all this. And these happen every 180 degrees, if we're thinking about degrees. So tangent doesn't necessarily have an amplitude, like sine and cosine. So if we had, say, y equals 2 tangent of x, it might be a little steeper, but it's not really going to affect the overall shape of the, the graph. And then likewise, it'll be affected by horizontal shifts and phase shifts in the same way that sine and cosine would. It's just going to move the asymptotes left and right. So next let's talk about secant, and these next three will go fairly quickly because we've already talked about their reciprocals. So recall that secant of theta is the reciprocal of cosine, so 1 over cosine of theta. And again, if we think about on the unit circle, we're looking at cosine, that would be the x-coordinate. So similar to tangent, if we look at secant, whenever cosine is equal to zero, we have asymptotes. Now you'll notice that the period of secant, to the point where it starts repeating itself, is more than tangent. It's 306 degrees. And likewise, we'll have issues whenever this x is zero. That's where we'll have our vertical asymptotes. And again, that'll happen at 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees. And then likewise, 270 degrees, so on and so forth. Cosecant follows a very similar pattern. Uh, remember that cosecant of theta is equivalent to 1 over the sine of theta. So back to the unit circle, we're looking at y-coordinates in particular. So we're looking at the height 
of this little triangle we have here. And in particular, we will have vertical asymptotes whenever y equals 0. So that happens at 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Notice we have a vertical asymptote here at 0. And then we're going to have another one at 180 degrees and again at 360 degrees. And notice that cosecant repeats itself after 360 degrees. So the period is still 360 degrees, which would make sense as it's a reciprocal of sine. Cotangent, very similar to tangent. It's again the reciprocal of it. So cotangent of x equals 1 over the tangent of x. And also, it's 1 over, or no, not 1 over, it would be cosine of x over the sine of x. So very similar to cosecant. Whenever the sine is equal to 0, we're going to have vertical asymptotes. So again, that happens at 0 degrees, 180 degrees, and then every 180 degrees before or after. So we'd also have another one at negative 180. And very similar to tangent, the period of cotangent, it starts to repeat itself after 180 degrees. And all of these functions, similar to sine and cosine, when you're talking about horizontal shifts, vertical shifts, the same logic still applies. Uh, the amplitudes don't really so much make sense with these, and that's why they're kind of separated a little bit. They adjust the steepness, they'll make them a little steeper, but the asymptotes will be largely unaffected. Then the period will still change depending on if there is a multiplier on the x, just like it would with sine or cosine.